Hey guys, Todd here with Great Escape Farms. Today I'm going to harvest some jujubes off my jujube tree. And this is the Lee variety, L-I. And the Lee variety, you can harvest any time after it turns brown. And I have a couple here that might be a little overripe because they're brown and they're not even really mushy. They're almost hollow inside. So I might have waited a little too long. If you can see, there's a number of them here that are... Let me go ahead and pull this one off. And this one is just shriveled up a little and there are seeds in there. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll pull these, the ones off I'm going to get off and we'll uh, run them inside and put them on a cutting board here. And this is the one I was talking about. It's just kind of hollow inside. So a worm or something might have got into that one. I don't know. Usually there's not a problem with these things. And the ones here on the bottom are rock hard. So I'm going to wait on those. This one right here is just a little bit soft and a little bit shriveled and this one about the same this one is very soft this one is soft so what i'm going to end up doing is leaving three and we end up harvesting what do we have here six of them and um, like i say i don't know that this one's even going to be usable but we'll go ahead and take a look at it we'll move inside and uh open these guys up and see what they look like inside. Okay guys, we have the jujubes here. This one's hard as a rock, so I'm gonna save that one for last. Actually, the first one I wanna do is this one that's open here right now. You know what, let me put some glasses on so I can see. And we have here kinda mealy, almost thread-like and the Fruit flies seem to be interested in it. It almost smells a little bit bad, like it's, uh, and the fruit fly is right in that. Uh, that one I'm gonna say I would not mess with. Let me. Okay, let's move on to another one here. This one is uh, a little bit more firm. Open it up here. That's what it looks like. Still kind of apple firm on the bottom, but soft on the top. Smells a little bit better than the last one that I opened. And what I'm gonna go for is the soft part here. And kind of a cross between a custard and applesauce. And let's go ahead and open this up. So I have a pit in here so you can see what it looks like. And kind of difficult to see here. So I would try to grow this out. However, Lee and Lang are grafted on different rootstock, and I'm not sure why they're grafted. So all of this, if I let it sit for a while, this would all be ripe. So I'm kind of wasting it here, but I wanna, I'm more doing this for you guys than me. I'm not. Uh, just trying to show you what the seeds look like. Everything here, so that's what the pit looks like. And like I say, the part up here I tried, it's very, very sweet. I've tried this before and it's usually apple-like and kind of bland. Kind of the same thing. So it has the texture of an apple when you chew into it. It's a little bit sweeter, and it's not quite as sweet as the outside up here. So that's definitely good. So, okay, let me show all this aside here. And this one, this one right here feels a little bit hard. This one is absolutely hard, and this one is hard. This one, you can see, it's soft almost all the way through. So let me open it up. Okay, it's a little bit firm on the bottom there, kind of like the other one, but definitely ripe on the top. Okay, and you can see the, the seed there, or the pit. So there's the pit. And scoop this 
in. And again, kind of a, a, like a custard applesauce, very sweet. Mmm, very good flavor. Yeah, I definitely like those. So these I will let sit for a little while. They say that if you pick them green, they won't ripen up. However, these are brown already, so hopefully they will ripen up a little bit more. I want them a little softer because this hard, crisp part right back here is not it is kind of applesauce taste or apple tasting and I, I, I the flavor is much much better when it's softer there so definitely uh, wait till they are soft and you get a much better flavor so that's it for harvesting jujube please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel thank you very much for tuning in and have a great day